What is up, Bruins fans? Today I'm bringing you a clip from episode 362 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast, where hosts Sam Smith and Mark Allred, joined by special guests Ben Kennedy and Amon McLean, preview the 2024 Prospects Challenge. Uh, or this week leading into this weekend is where it really picks up as it is rookie camp into the Prospect Challenge happening in Buffalo this weekend. Um, what have we seen out of rookie camp so far, Mark? A lot of good things. Um, we've had um, Tom Kuliat Caliuti uh, on uh, Boots on the Ground at Warrior Ice Arena and along with Jason Cook. Uh, those guys were covering the first two days of uh, rookie camp. And, um, you know, there's a, a lot of excitement. Um, and uh, definitely looking forward to to uh, seeing how these two practice sessions at Warrior yesterday and today are going to transpire into the Prospects Challenge in Buffalo um, at the Harvest Center in uh, Buffalo, New York. So uh, it should be good. Uh, a lot of people do, uh, get to see some of these prospects. Um, rumor has it, rumor has it that the Boston Bruins are going to stream these games. Now that is, uh, it's an unofficial rumor, but I, I heard from a good source that uh, there will be uh, a camera crew there to cover these games. I'm not sure about play by play, but uh, at least we get to see the action. And this will be a first for the Boston Bruins because for the past nine years, um, we've, uh, if we wanted to see these games, we would have to go to the opponent's uh, website for their live stream. So hopefully the Bruins are, uh, are up to date and uh, ready to rock and roll because, uh, you know, prospects nowadays are, are becoming more and more of what fans want to know about. It's not like it used to be years ago when it was just everybody had their NHL blinders on, didn't care about Providence, didn't care about Maine or wherever their affiliate was in the ECHL. So uh, really looking forward to uh, this weekend and, and how everything turns out. Uh, I can confirm that the Bruins will be streaming their games on the Bruins website. So nice. we'll be able to watch them from a Bruins perspective. I looked it up. It is official. Nice. I also heard a rumor that it could be on the Nesson 360 app. So I don't know. Damn. About, I, I can't confirm that part, but I can confirm it will be streamed on the Bruins website for sure. I'm going to uh, start calling you Sammy Scoops. <laughs> hey, last night I, like I was one of the first people to report James Van Riemsdyk signing with the Kraken on a PTO. That was me. Nice. So, so there you go. There's that. It's like a Sam Scoops are on the case, huh? <laughs> I love it. First uh, game of the Prospects Challenge is tomorrow afternoon as the Bruins will be taking on the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, in Buffalo. Some of their prospects down there. Um, of course, game two will be against the Blue Jackets on Saturday afternoon at 3.30 start in Buffalo. And they have Sunday off, but Monday they'll be taking on the New Jersey Devils at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All these times are Eastern Standard Time. So again, Penguins tomorrow, Blue Jackets Saturday, Devils on Monday. What are our thoughts about these three upcoming games for the Bees? Uh, I'll start with you, Ben. Well, I think for me, I'm I'm curious about goaltending uh, in these games. Uh, we've talked a little bit about Ryan Bichelle, uh, prospect there out of Notre Dame. Um, as we've talked this summer, you know, here in Portland, there's some anticipation that he may end up with the Mariners, depending on how that uh, kind of domino effect goes between Boston and Providence. So I'm really curious to see how he looks out there, and um, you know, if he's you know if he's ready to make this jump, big jump, going from you know D1 hockey to to any pro level. So I think that's going to be really interesting to see. Um, secondly, Ryan Mast, a uh, defenseman who obviously played there in Providence and in Maine last year. You know, where's his game at? I'm really curious to see. Um, he's been around for a little bit and would love to see him kind of elevate his his game and at least stick in Providence this year. I think that'd be great. Eamon, what are your thoughts on some players you want to see break out out of this prospects challenge? <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I think Jackson Edward uh, is probably one of the players I'd be looking for. I think this is his third prospects challenge. Um, the He's improved with each one, in my opinion. Um, I think his puck handling's gotten a lot better, which is good. It's be interesting to see if he he's uh, continued to make strides in uh, that department. Uh, probably Brett Harrison as well. Um, get his first full pro season. 
uh, this past season. So be interesting to see. Um, you know, you'll have some guys like I know the Penguins tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if he's playing, but Rucker McGrady just signed out of Michigan after they acquired mm-hmm. him. It'll be interesting to see how like those guys handle playing against guys who've been playing in the AHL, ECHL, um, just been playing against men, basically. I'm excited to see um, if Riley Duran is really up to the hype. We've heard a lot mm-hmm. of good things about Riley Duran out of development camp over the past year. I'm wondering to see he's playing guys of his level who are getting ready to go into the pros. Is he worth it? I'm looking for that. I'm looking for guys like Farinacci and Kuntar to finally go make strides and prove to themselves, improve themselves to, to the fans that they are going to be NHLers down the line. So it's a lot of uh, excited, uh, a lot of excitement right now. We're going to get some sort of Bruins hockey this weekend, even though it's just the prospects going, it's still going to be a good time. Some Bruins, uh, uh, some hockey this weekend. How about that? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, any hockey is good hockey leading Absolutely. up to the uh, 2024-25 NHL campaign. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back next week for episode 363 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast where host Sam Smith and Mark Allred will preview the 2024-2025 season. See you then.